What up, gang of Lane Crime? Jack Pot Time coming at you. July 12th, 2022. It also means it's Tuesday afternoon slash Tuesday evening. Uh, months flying by. College football season's coming toward us. Uh, full force, man. Uh, this summer's actually flying by pretty fast. Off season usually goes by slow, it seems like. Uh, delaying the inevitable, delaying the inevitable, the South Carolina Gamecocks uh, fixing to have that uh, resurgent renaissance season in 2022. I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my soul. I'm going to tell you what. There's one uh, college football program that I'm going to tell you. I admire the fan base because they stuck through them through thick and thin. But the one that I, I absolutely have zero damn respect for and people ask me all the time, say, uh, they'll say, well, these little streaks y'all got going on right now against certain teams, uh, which one do you want to break first? Uh, Clemson, you want to break the one against Texas A&M? Or you want, well, I'm going to tell you, I'll make it simple. I want to break the streak against Tennessee, the worst of all. Not that three games is really that much of a streak, um, but um, that one sticks in my crawl worse than any of them. I don't know what it is. I, I just have, I, I don't know. It, it, it's nothing against the fans. I, I know they got a passionate fan base. I just have zero respect for this football program. And, and I don't really know why. Uh, I, I will tell you why. Uh, and it's something that really, really, really ticks me off, gets under my skin, ruffles my jimmies, and just literally makes me salty as a motherfucker is uh, the fact that South Carolina's lost three in a row to these bums. The fact that South Carolina lost to those bums in uh, 2013 and 2014 when we had better teams uh, also really makes me aggravated. But there's nothing I can do about that. There's nothing I can do about any of us sit here and uh, complain and moan and groan about it. But I'll have an excuse for every one of them. And you can bet your bottom dollar on that. 2019... Uh, South Carolina lost to them by 20 points uh, in a game that really was closer than that. South Carolina uh, allowed them to block a, a, a punt, take it in for a touchdown, and at that time, the momentum swung in that game. They rode that uh, blocked punt for a touchdown to a 41-21 victory. Uh, oftentimes, you'll see a big special teams play really swing the momentum in a game, and, and that's what happened in that one. 2020, South Carolina lost to them, what was it, 31-27, 31-24. It's that first game of that COVID season, something. I think it was 31-27 anyway. That was Will Muschamp, um, idiotic play calling, piss poor clock management, and just overall being a buffoon of a head coach that lost that game for us. The players didn't lose it. He lost it. 2021. I have no uh, real uh, excuse for that one other than the Jordan Birch play where he tried to throw that touchdown pass there at the end of the first was in the first quarter was ridiculous. We were up 14 nothing or behind 14 nothing. However, Kevin Harris shredded uh, Tennessee's taffy defense the entire way down the field, uh, and they call that ridiculous play. It was a 14 point swing. We're fixing to make it 14-7. And Tennessee can say, well, you know, it wasn't a 14-point swing. We still had to drive down and score. That killed the momentum, though. It was a momentum killer. And they scored, made it 21-0. Had that play not happened, had they continued uh, to give the ball, to feed the man who, who brought them down the field in the first place, who was tearing up that Tennessee defense, that taffy defense, in Kevin Harris, who knows what would have happened at that point? Who knows? Uh, but, uh, you know, hindsight's 2020, isn't it? Hindsight's 2020, but I'm never going to uh, give them a whole hell of a lot of credit for anything. Um, they pissed me off. Their fan base on Twitter is just stupid. Josh Heupel, to me, this guy, and, and, there's, and once again, nothing against the Tennessee fans. They're good, and, you know, you stick with your team and everything. This guy, to me, looks like a used car salesman <clears throat> slash uh, little Debbie cake tester. Little Debbie cake taste tester. I mean, who in the world would look at this guy and think that he used to be a quarterback? Can we look at this guy real quick?
Does that look like someone who used to be a quarterback? I mean, well, I mean, he looks sort of like Jared Lorenzen, so I guess that could uh, qualify. He does not look like a former quarterback. You know what he is to me? I think that he's a bullshitter. I think he's uh, someone who sells pipe dreams. I think he's something more like along the lines of Butch Jones. Uh, I think Jeremy Pruitt was probably actually not a good head coach, but I think Jeremy Pruitt was probably an actually a decent position coach, actually a, de a decent defensive coordinator. I don't think he could run a program, but I think he was okay at those things. I mean, he was obviously he was a cheater. Uh, I don't know that Heupel's necessarily a cheater, but I, I do. I think I do think he's most likely a BSer and a pipe dream uh, seller. Something something along the lines of Dabo. Something along the lines of Dabo. Just uh, just you know, he's Dabo light maybe. Maybe he's Dabo light. Ah, he's getting all these big name recruits there to come to that dump, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, they're recruiting well right now. They recruited well under Jeremy Pruitt. Uh, and how did that work out? I mean, it, it worked out terribly. Um, none of those players are even around anymore. But, you know, Tennessee will tell you, oh, well, we asked them all to leave. We told them to leave because we had some, we had something better coming in. Uh, whatever. Um, that's what I think of Tennessee right there. Uh, what is it? Next to last week of the season. Uh, South Carolina is going to be 110% focused on you. Don't think that we're going to be focused on Clemson and uh, not worried about Tennessee. We're going to be 110% focused on Tennessee, Tennessee week. And uh, we're going to kick your ass in williams Bryce Stadium. And uh, that's just happening. It is. Uh, put that on your bookcase of accountability. I'll see you all later. Appreciate it. Peace. I'm out. Go Gamecocks, go Coach Beamer, go Spencer Rattler, and uh, fuck Tennessee. Ah, 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 woo! Go Cox.